What's up, everybody? Welcome to the after show, but later this is your boy D. Again, joined by the one and only El Kukui, as most of you guys know him. And it is the first show of 2021. I'm actually freaking stoked because Johnny and I started doing this, um, I think, November 2018. So even though we've missed a million weeks in between, this is freaking, this is pretty dope, man. I mean, it's the third year that we're actually doing it. So this is cool, man. And I, I appreciate you joining me today. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. Yeah, man. So we have, um, I don't know if you caught any of the um, best of the decade or best of the year, but we have um, the week before that where they actually did live shows. And then we have all of the best of the decade and best of the week. Um, was there anything that stood out to you that you wanted to talk about right off the bat? Rich's coffee mug. I just, I've been listening to the best of today. And uh, we were talking, they were talking about his Ikea mug he keeps under the sink that he jerks off in. You know, what's so funny is that I've been, um, I've been listening since about 2012. So, um, well, actually, I know for a fact it was 2012. So when it was cool for me to go back and listen to the best of the decade, because it was basically the last, I've been listening for eight of the 10 years, you know? So... Right. It was cool, man, to hear basically everything that I've ever heard before, like recapped and like where they had little um, little like notes where they were talking about beforehand before they would play the clips and stuff. So yeah. it was cool, man, that blue that blue coffee mug. I thought that was before I actually didn't catch that in the best of the decade. No. No, I didn't. I mean, I've I've heard the story a billion times, but when I was listening back to take notes and stuff for this um, recording, I didn't um, I didn't catch it. So um, I thought it was actually before 2010. I thought it was like 06 or something. I, I thought it was, too. I thought there was a time that he had a mug he jerked off in and he stayed home from school or something one time and his dad made him tea in that mug. I could swear that that's a story that happened. Um, however, listening to the best of, I started to question myself because he talked about the Ikea mug that he keeps under his sink. And he does that even when he's with Sarah, he was, is, he was is that the blue he, mug? Yeah, it's a blue striped Ikea mug. They were talking about it today. And, and I guess, I don't know. They were talking about when dudes jerk it or whatever, and he don't like to jerk on himself. So he said, uh, back in the day. He would jizz in fucking Dixie paper cups, those little bathroom Dixie cups. He would yeah. shoot his lips in those cups, dude. Like and, it's like he was donating sperm and shit to the sperm bank. Yeah, yeah. So that's I mean, I, I don't know. That, that's always a weird conversation to have. So I don't, I, whatever you know. But it, it came up again that he had a IKEA blue striped mug he keeps under his sink. He's like, yeah, I just jerked off into the mug and rinsed it out down the sink. <laughs> that that you know what and i'm like you know how there's i don't know if there's ever times where like if you have something that like was in the fridge and it went bad or something sometimes like you're washing that container and you're like you know what fuck it i'm just gonna throw this away because i feel but, like no matter how many times you wash it or how much bleach you put in it there's still some remnants of the grossness now yes. i'm thinking how the fuck are you comfortable with beating off into a mug and then just putting it back under the sink like to me, that just feels because that's what if I remember the story correctly, he said that he would beat off, clean it out and then put it back under the sink. Right. Yes. Deep yeah. That's picky. yeah. That's gross. Because, I mean, I know he's not like drinking out of it or whatever, but that just sounds disgusting. Like, that's the same shit you're just going to beat off in and then wash it out. Like, I well, don't know. You know, he's not scrubbing it. You know, he might get a little hot water and rinse it, but it's not like he's putting it in the dishwasher. Yeah, no lie, no lie. And, you know, he's not even squirting some fucking Clorox bleach in that bitch or nothing. He's just straight up, no. like you said, rinsing a little bit of water, swishing it around, and then fucking dumping it. That's fucking gross, dude. That's nasty. I've, I've, you know, I've never heard of that to where where it's something you're going to continuously use as far as, like, like, a cup or a fucking whatever. Like, I mean, you hear about, like socks and shit like from like right. what was Cavino's take on it I, re I don't really remember he's like well what do you do when you're watching porn in your room do you just stand up and jerk in the mug or like boy they were just kind of like that's awkward and and it uh, kind of like we're talking now mm -hmm. it truly is I don't think I mean obviously I don't know with my buddies we don't ever really talk too much about you know jerking off or how do you we don't really you know those conversations never really come up <laughs> but 
I've never really heard of anyone jerking off into a damn cup either. Any conversation I've ever had, I've never had anybody like say, this is my designated fucking, you know, um, ceramic bowl that I'm going to nut into, you know? You know, my assumption would be that most dudes would probably do like a, a paper towel or a tissue, something you can get rid of the evidence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you don't want to be leaving fucking socks around and shit like that. And your old lady <laughs> find it and get all pissed off because you're jerking off and not wanting to bone her. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, I, you're right, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't. Number one, how do you come up with the mug is what I want to know. And and number two, does Sarah know that that's what that mug's for? Because don't you think she would move it? Or I, I don't know, man. It's that's just Rich Davis in a nutshell. I think that's that's rich. Yeah, you know it, what would worry me would be to like you said, um, Sarah doesn't know. What if she's um, like brushing her teeth and she's like, oh, there's no more Dixie cups, but there's this mug down here. I, I could rinse my mouth with this, you know. Yeah, like, and, and you know, like, even though even though they're together and they'd probably do way worse shit than that, I mean, when you brush your teeth, you probably don't want to come mug. <laughs> it's a rinse, yeah. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, that that was a good one though, man. I I can't believe I, I completely missed that, but I know you had said you watched. Um, when it comes to TV, you said you watched the first episode of The Flight Attendant. Yes. Um, did you watch any more episodes or no? No, you know what happened, though? The only reason I watched it, I mean, I like I like the actress, but um, I had, for a brief moment, I switched from Verizon to AT&T, and they got the free HBO Max with it. So, uh, but then I regretted it, because in my area, AT&T sucks, and Verizon's the best, so I ended up switching back, and then mm -hmm. I lost that subscription. You know, after you said you watched that episode, and you were like, it's a little different, or whatever. Right. I was like... <sighs> I was like, you know, I'll check it out. I like Kaylee Cuoco. And so I was like, that's cool, you know. Um, it was the biggest steaming pile of shit I've ever seen. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I'd like to experiment with yeah. her, though. <laughs> yeah. No, and see, my girl told me. Because, all right, I watched. Honestly, the first, like, episode or two are pretty good. They're decent. You're like, all right, cool, whatever. Yeah, and get you um, in a little bit. But then after that, it just goes so far. It goes so far um, to where you're just like, this shit just keeps going deeper and deeper, like, to where, I, I don't know, like, I like shit that's a little more realistic, where you're like, oh, this shit could have happened, like, that's why yeah. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of, like, horror movies, but, like, if there's something that's, like, about, like, suspense, or, like, um, this person got kidnapped, or whatever the fuck, I'm like, okay, that makes a little more sense to me, because it could really happen, you know, but... This shit was so far fetched that I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stop watching it. That was one thing where I was like, I was so far into it that I wanted to keep watching it, but it was so bad. And my girl told me, she's like, oh, the only reason you want you watch it is because you think she's hot. But I'm like, that's not it. Like, yeah, you watch an episode or two and you're like, oh, yeah, she's hot. That's dope. But I'm not going to I'm not going to stick with something just because somebody's fucking hot, you know, and this shit was like so bad. But there was something in it where I couldn't stop watching it. Yeah, I saw I saw the first two episodes and then then after that, I, I didn't see anymore. But she is hot. She is bad. Yeah, but you're not you're not missing anything. No. Not at all, Doug. It it was terrible. Did you ever watch Power? I didn't. I haven't. And you said that one was on Stars, right? Yeah, that's on Stars. Or or you yeah. Fire Stick or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. No, I haven't watched that yet. Um, there was. I was trying to think of another show that you had mentioned. It was that I know there was Power, but there was something else. Um, because I was looking for shit to watch that I have. I've been off of work the last couple of weeks, and um. I was just watching a bunch of random shit and like listening to podcasts and convening on rich and stuff, you know, but that flight attendant, I was like, damn, the last time I talked to him, he said he's seen the first episode. So I kind of was like, I'll check it out, you know, but yeah, you know what? I, I still haven't watched Mandalorian. Did you finish it? Oh, bro. It's fucking dope. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah? I, I, I saw the last episode. I won't ruin it for you, but uh, it was pretty dope, dude. But, yeah, uh, we no. Should do, and do a pair, no. we should do some parodies, dude. I, I got a little musical background. You know, hey, I'm completely down. I'm not even lying because I 
I mean, I have all of this stupid ass equipment that I just fucking fuck around with, you know, like, um, <laughs> I'll send you a picture later of the little area where I'm recording right now. And right. I have like my soft boxes. I got my fucking little recorder and I got my microphone and I, this wall behind me, I painted completely green for the fucking little green screen shit. And, right. um, it's just funny because I'm like, I'm down to fucking write lyrics and if you want to sing or whatever that's cool but i'm down to i'm i'm down man to to collaborate on some tickle sack jams yeah i had a i had back in the day when i first quit retail in 02 i started a hip-hop label and uh we had messy marv mac dre yuck mouth from the loonies so we did music non-stop dude for about three or four years and just constantly in the studio and so I can write. I can definitely write. And, you know, parodies to me are kind of easy because you've already kind of got a theme. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, the, it, so, the majority of the work's already done for you. Yeah. You're just, you're just filling in the blanks almost. I'm down. And you know what? I know, I know we won't be honorary members of Tickle Sack like Mercer and freaking Handsome Gabe and Nick DeRico, but hey, we'll, we'll, do, we'll put our own little spin on it. You know what though, dude? If we crush it, I guarantee they'll probably play it. Well, do you? I don't know if you were listening. Um, well, I know you've been listening longer than me, but there was a time where they had a um, like a TV theme song parody contest, and they actually played my um, my Saved by the Bell. I did a Saved by the Bell remix, and they played it and they dug it. And that was before I was like as into the show as I am now. You know. Well, you sent so it, it was, you sent it yeah, I sent it to them. They played it on, um, they played it on the air and they actually even played it on like a best of the year or something, oh, um, cool. like a few years ago. And it was dope because one time I heard it in the car as I was driving, I heard them playing it because they've even wow. played it on like a random, like best of when they're like not in the studio, you know? And, yeah. um, so I've, I've heard it a few times and they thought it was funny as hell. So, I mean, that that's just shit that I enjoy doing. Just like that. I mean, if you're down like that, I mean, I'm down to fucking write some lyrics and record it. It'll be fucking dope. I, I think especially if we uh, if we throw some, like, scenarios or some, some bars in there, some lines that relate to things they have done or said, like Rich and his damn mug. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that chick was no. Uh, I kind of... Uh, watch out for rich and it's blue ikea mug or something i guarantee they play it yeah and you know um i remember on the one that i wrote for saved by the bell it Uh was like the entire thing was references like to them you know so mine was about rich and um instead of saved by the bell i called it gay and proud or (laughs) gay gay and he's proud or some shit and it was like the the lyrics went, he's so gay and he's goofy and his hair is kind of poofy and he's so so proud to say he loves guys or some shit. Like it went like dun dun, it went dope, you know. And um, that's fucking But it was it was dope and and that shit honestly like shit that I fucking dig, you know. Like just making stupid shit like that, I fucking enjoy, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. And, I, and I've, but yeah. I've, written a lot, I've written a lot of, like, raps, you know what I mean, for people. Like, I would write for people or whatnot. Um, but I've never did parody, but, I, dude, I, I make references. So never, like, jokes or parodies, but, you know, always metaphors and references. And, you know, uh, kind of, you know, what's funny is it's kind of the same as what they talk about in reality, you know, with Cavino and his Cannondale and his Calande or whatever he was calling yeah, it. It's the same, yeah. the same shit, you know what I mean? Um, but definitely, we could throw we could throw some 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 Covino and Rich references in those songs about Covino on his bike, Rich in his mug, bleaching his asshole, he was spotting his Mini Cooper. Yeah, man. Hey, you know we, you got to start. I mean, you're you're actually legit when it comes to the writing and shit. I mean, you're working with Mac Dre and all these people. That's fucking. That's another level. I mean, I'm not there, but hey, I'm down to fucking make some logos and shit. <laughs> yeah, no, hell yeah. Well, and I haven't did it in a long time, and you know, and, and uh, we just we had a couple of artists that were on on the label, and they just you know they were they were new and they were they had the background and they lived the environment. They just weren't really good at writing because you know you got almost count your syllables or you're forcing in words. You know what I'm saying? It's like poetry. Mm-hmm. 
And, exactly. Uh, so I, I would help him with that, but uh, but no, you know, I didn't write none, none of those guys' and stuff. You know, Mac. You know, he uh, it was, yeah. Well, um, yeah, man. Well, I'm fucking. I'm stoked. Yeah, hey. there was some good. I'm I'm definitely down. But yeah, I'll shoot you a CD. I still got a couple of those CDs. I don't know if you got Apple Music or not either. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's called Young Savage Underground Dweller, and uh, if you if you it's on Apple Music. But yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of stuff. I don't know, I don't know if you I don't know if you listen to underground hip hop or not West Coast, but if you do, you'll you'll probably like it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely down. And you know what? I haven't checked out a lot of underground shit in a minute. So I'm down. I'm down to check it out right now. Um, if you just want to pick a beat and maybe send it to me and tell me like what your thought is on it or what direction you're going, I'll just go with you know we'll just we'll just kind of feed off each other. That sounds good, man. Honestly, it'll it'll fucking be dope because I, this is shit that I enjoy doing. There's um there's a podcast that I listen to um called The King and the Sting, right? And okay. right now they're they have this thing called the Culture Corner, and the two dudes that host the podcast are two white guys, right? Well, right. in the culture corner, they have like right now they have a black dude and like a Vietnamese chick, right? Well, they're doing right. like these auditions where they're like, you can come and, you know, sit in the culture corner for like an episode or whatever, right? And okay. I made a little video and this is just shit that I do like in my spare time. You know, it's like, I guess it's like a hobby or whatever, but I made a little video to send to them and I photoshopped the chick out of the video and i put myself in there so Shit. in the video that i'm gonna send to them i was like i can already see myself sitting on the couch in the culture corner right and then right. i look up and i start playing the video with me in one of their episodes you know so so i'm all hey we can fucking we can go as hard as we want we can make music videos if we want okay i'm down dude let me know yeah, no, nah, hey, I'm definitely down. So fucking, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up because I gotta go pick up my kid right now. But but I'm definitely gonna shoot you some ideas and shit, and we can we can fuck around with that too. Wait, brother. Hey, ha happy New Year, dude. Stay safe. Thanks, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody who's checking this out. We appreciate everything. Me and El Kakui, we're we're out. <laughs>